Hello everyone, my name is Prabhjit Simbaga and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Cisco. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy the brand new Catalyst Center Global Manager, uh, which is the manager of manager of for multiple Catalyst Centers and everything that you need to get going. So in this video, I'm going to first start with why do you actually need Catalyst Center Global Manager? And then we're going to go through all of these steps. We're going to see how to order and download CCGM from Cisco.com, uh, how to deploy CCGM on VMware ESXi, and how you can register with our cloud registration service and how to enroll any new Catalyst Center that you're trying to deploy with uh, CCGM. And finally, uh, we'll end with like how to start using CCGM. So let's get started. First, let's get into why somebody needs a Catalyst Center Global Manager or CCGM. So this is for our customers who have more than one Catalyst Center deployed globally. Uh, it can be either physical appliance or virtual appliance with AWS, uh, ESXi, or in future Azure. So for all of them, we have this now single pane of glass view with CCGM. This is going to provide global visibility across the different devices and endpoints uh, across different Cali Center. They would be able to uh, search via their IP address, MAC address, serial number for any of the devices or endpoints or clients across Cali Centers. Uh, it, the CCGM is also programmable with open APIs. Customers will also be able to enroll to notifications uh, from CCGM. Uh, not only endpoints or devices, but Customers will also be able to manage their Catalyst Center controllers so to see how their system health is of their Catalyst Center. And finally, for any issues or problems, you can easily cross launch into the Catalyst Center without needing additional authentication. All right, now let's look at the Catalyst Center requirements to enroll to CCGM. You need at least a version 2379 or higher on the Catalyst Center, and you also need IP reachability between the Catalyst Center and CCGM. And on the firewall, you would need to open the ports for HTTPS so that we can run APIs from CCGM to Catalyst Center. Uh, and the latency is pretty huge. It's a 350 millisecond, uh, which can uh, connect to Catalyst Centers across the globe easily. So that is a really good thing. And also, everything is tied with your smart account and virtual account, so you need that as well um, for uh, enrolling Catalyst Centers to CCGM. For deploying the global manager, the Catalyst Center Global Manager, uh, you need uh, to do VMware on VMware ESXi. So you need either uh, ESXi or vCenter 7.0 or higher. Um, and it's a very small footprint for CCGM. It's 8V CPU, 16 GB RAM, and 650 GB uh, hard drive. Uh, so if you have that on your ESXi, you can deploy CCGM. To start off with, we're going to support 25 different Catalyst Center controllers. And if you have a three node HA cluster, it is considered as one controller. So you can imagine the scale that it can reach to. And again, you just need IP reachability between your CCGM and Catalyst Center and also smart account and virtual account. All right, so the first step we're going to do before you can start deploying CCGM is going to, you're going to place a $0 PID. And to place that $0 PID, you will need your smart account and virtual account information. You can take that and you can give that to your sales executive and they'll place that order for you. So to get your smart account and virtual account details for your user uh, that is tied to that SANVA, uh, you can go to software.cisco.com, you can go to manage smart account, and in manage smart account, on the top right hand side, you'll see your smart account. Here it's Catalyst Center TME. And on the left hand side, in the virtual accounts, you'll see you can choose any of the virtual accounts you want to use for your uh, registration of CCGM. In my case, I'm using CCGM-USA. Why we need to do this is because we have automated the registration of uh, CCGM and also enrolling of Catalyst Center. So first time when you do the ordering um, and using your smart account and virtual account like earlier, it's gonna automate a creation of a profile for you on our cloud registration service uh, CRS portal. The automation does take three days, so please be patient after you place the order Wait three days before you go ahead and deploy CCGM that I'm, that I'm going to show you in the next steps. All right, so now let's look at the steps that are needed to deploy the CCGM. So first of all, we will go to software.cisco.com and we will download the OVA file for CCGM. And then we will go to your VMware ESXi or vCenter and deploy the OVA file or the, on the OVF template. And then all the rest is same like Catalyst Center. It runs on maglev. So we'll go through the maglev uh, steps or the web wizard install of CCGM. And finally, you'll be able to access the CCGM uh, UI. So let me show you how to do it. All right, so first you will go to software.cisco.com to the CCGM download page. 
and there you will see the ccgm ova file uh, to load onto vmware vCenter. We've also put a banner that you should first place that $0 order on CCW so that the CRS profile is created. Now we've also included the deployment guide and release notes links in case you wanted to follow along and perform all the steps. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to download the CCGM OVA file. Um, this will take some time depending on your network connectivity and speed. So I'm going to store this locally on my computer and then I'm going to log on to my VMware vCenter ESXi 7 or higher where I'll be able to start deploying my OVA file. All right, so now I'm on my vCenter 7.0. Here I'm going to choose the host, ESXi host, where I want to deploy my OVF template. So I'll right click and go to deploy OVF template. I'm going to select the OVA file. I have untarred it. Um, so I'm going to select the entire file into upload files. I'll go next and give uh, my CCGM, uh, this virtual machine, a name. I'm going to call this uh, CCGM-US. When I go next, it's going to ask me for which ESXi host do I want to bring it up in. I'm going to say 180.133 and then I'm going to hit next. So once I'm here, now I can review the details of uh, how much size it's going to take on my disk. Now I'm going to, it's going to ask me if you need thick provision or thin provision. We support both and you can select the data store where uh, your data, uh, your disk space is coming from. Now here I'm going to select my one interface network. Uh, mine is a VM network, so I select that. Here now you can uh, review the summary and then uh, hit finish. Once you click finish, it'll start uh, deploying the OVF template. Uh, this will take around 15 to 20 minutes. So you can go take a walk, take a cup of coffee and come back. Once it finishes loading, it completes. Uh, you can then click on the CCGM US. So you can see this is powered off. I can select on the power on by hitting the play button. Now, once this powers on, uh, it's going to allow us to go through the maglev install steps. Uh, to finish the installation. Now this is used for Maglev Wizard. Uh, I'm not going to use that right now. Uh, in this video, we are going to go through the Maglev uh, uh, CLI steps. So here uh, it will load all the packages. And now this is the only interface that we need to configure. This is called the enterprise uh, interface or enterprise network. My IP is 10195.182.30 slash 25. I'm going to enter that and the subnet and the gateway. Now I'm going to hit next. Now here, uh, this is a cluster interface. You don't need to do anything here. Uh, in this one, I'm going to add my DNS uh, uh, server IP address, uh, which is 171.70.168.183. Once I enter that, I can click Next. All right, now I'm going to hit Next, uh, and it's going to make the connectivity check uh, to all of my DNS servers uh, to make sure we have connectivity. Now here, if your network requires a proxy to go out to the internet, you can enter the proxy details. Um, uh, this is my proxy, so I'm going to put that in. And once you enter, you can uh, then hit next. Uh, you do not need any cluster uh, VIP over here. Uh, this is just a single uh, VM, so we do not need that. Now here, this is my CLI password for my CCGM VM, so I'm going to enter uh, it twice. Now, this is the last input. Uh, we have to input our NTP server. Uh, ours is ntp.esl.cisco.com. Now, once I hit Next uh, and I hit Proceed, it's going to start um, installing all the packages, all the services. This could take around another 25 minutes. So in total, in less than an hour, you will have your CCGM up and running. So here it says that uh, the configuration has completed successfully. This is my IP address. Uh, that I can now go to any browser, put in the IP address of uh, .230. Now we have created a default um, username and password of admin and then capital P at SSWORD9. Uh, once you log in with that default, uh, you'll be asked to create a new user. So you'll select your username and uh, your new password. So once you select uh, your new username and password, this is uh, CCGM is going to log out. Uh, you can hit submit and CCGM is going to log out and it will ask you to log in with that secure new uh, credentials or new password that you have created. You can also use external authentication with the AAA server or TACX, which is a recommended solution. So here we're going to do the first time setup of CCGM. So the CRS profile that Cisco would have created for you uh, on the back end, now CCGM is going to register to that uh, profile. 
So here we will click on uh, activate your device. I'm going to click on next. And then it's going to ask me for my email or my user uh, that is tied to the smart account and virtual account where the profile is created. So Catalyst Center TME, CCGM-USA, uh, I would have placed an order, a profile will be created, and PBUGA is part of that uh, smart account and virtual account. Now by doing this, it will the CCGM will go and register itself to Cisco Cloud uh, with its own IP address of 10.195.180.230 so that uh, when we add any future Catalyst Center to CCGM, it will also query Cisco Cloud and get this IP address of CCGM. And uh, the Catalyst Center will be able to directly communicate with CCGM and make that connection. All right, so now we can see that the registration is successful and the license is available, which is a great sign. We can hit on confirm and uh, it's going to take us to the CCGM UI. If this fails for any reason, you can try to make sure that your user exists as a part of the smart account virtual account that had placed the order. So now CCGM UI is ready. It's waiting for the Catalyst Center to be added. So I can go to my Catalyst Center IP, 10195.180.131. Uh, this is running uh, version 2379. I can see that this Catalyst Center has uh, three sites, LA, San Francisco, and San Jose. Now to get it added to the CCGM, I can click on the hamburger menu, go to systems and uh, go to settings. In the search field, I'm gonna search for global manager integration. This is for the Cali Center global manager integration. And uh, all you have to do is with one click of button uh, with the enroll, um, this Catalyst Center will go out to the CRS cloud and be able to find the CCGM IP address and make that connection in our district with. Uh, this might also ask you for uh, your username and credentials. Uh, uh, so I would enter the pbugger at cisco.com. Now, again, if I go to CCGM, I can see that the controller is added. I can do a refresh. And now I can see my data getting pulled from Catalyst Center to CCGM. Here on the top, uh, we also have site hierarchy. And I can see all my three sites, LA, San Francisco, and San Jose, are showing up on my CCGM. Uh, which is great. Um, I can also click on the controller health uh, in the uh, number one, and I can see my 131 controller Catalyst Center is added. I can also edit the name of this uh, controller. I, I'll call it Cat Catalyst Center of San Jose. I can see the IP address and I can hit save. Um, now, this is awesome. Uh, now, if I wanted to add another Catalyst Center, I can go to my different IP of 132 uh, Catalyst Center. Um, this one is uh, for Catalyst Center for managing my uh, RTP site. So I have a site called RTP. Um, now I can go uh, back and I can see my RTP is not present right now. Again, I will go to System Settings, uh, search for Global Manager Integration. And here, in here, I will click on Enroll. And once I hit Enroll, uh, it's going to again try to find the IP of CCGM and make that connection and go to Enroll Status, which is great. So now I got that another controller is added. I'm going to hit refresh and I'm going to see my another uh, Catalyst Center of dot 132 is added. I can see the system version is running 2379. Um, I can even change the name again for Catalyst Center RTP. Um, and now if I go back to the UI uh, uh, of the overview page uh, under site hierarchy, I should see that my RTP site is also added. This is how easy it is to add Catalyst Center to CCGM. Um, on CCGM, there are other dashboards uh, where you can will help manage uh, your endpoints. Uh, we also have dark mode, so you can uh, go to your profile settings and under display setting, you could go display uh, to dark mode. And for everybody who loves dark mode, uh, we have this uh, available. It's easier on the eye. Um, you can also go and uh, modify your um, the time range from last three hours to 24 hours to seven days and this will change my data uh, of my overview page we are going to have another video where we will go into details of all of these different dashboards like the overview dashboard this alerts dashboard uh, this device infrastructure uh, dashboard which consolidates all of your networking devices into one single dashboard and also endpoints or clients dashboard where you get all of your wireless and wired clients and also situational dashboard which is in beta right now all right so this brings us to the end of the video of deploying ccgm please check out our entire playlist of ccgm on our youtube channel so you can learn everything about ccgm uh, through that uh, also you can look at the faq document that we have created and the deployment guide that also gives you all the steps and finally for all the other catalyst center use cases uh, and features you can check out our youtube channel thank you so much have a good one Bye bye